So I finally got my hands on the Xbox Series X. I've been using this for a few weeks now. In this video I'm going to discuss my experience of upgrading from the Series S and see if it's really worth the extra money. If you don't want to watch the whole video and just want my quick verdict, I'd say the Series X has definitely been a worthwhile upgrade for me, but I wouldn't say it's an essential upgrade for everyone. This video will explain exactly why that is as we concisely compare the key aspects of these two Xbox consoles. So from a design perspective, the Series S is the clear winner for me. Whilst this is the entry level Xbox console, the Series S has a lovely minimalist product design that will look great in any gaming setup. With the white exterior and contrasting circular black fan grille, it just looks super clean. I really like the small form factor. The Series S will easily fit in pretty much any TV or media unit. In comparison, the Series X is definitely on the chunky side. That's not to say it looks ugly. I like the design of the fan grill at the top with the green underneath. But aside from that, it's basically an industrial looking black box. So there's not a lot more to say about it. The Series X is also a much tighter fit in my TV stand. So I definitely prefer the smaller and cleaner design of the Series S. Of course, it's also important to note that the Series S is a digital only console whereas the Series X comes with a 4K Blu-ray drive built in. For me, this isn't a big deal as I don't use physical media and just download all my games via Game Pass or the Microsoft Digital Store. Both machines ship with a rapid custom SSD that offers super quick load times for all your games and apps. However, there's a pretty big difference in capacity. The Series S has a 512GB SSD, while the Series X doubles that with a 1TB capacity. Unfortunately, due to the operating system requirements, you only actually get around 360 gigabytes of usable storage on the Series S, whereas on the Series X you get around 800. This is one of the main reasons I wanted to upgrade. The SSD on the Series S gets filled up pretty quickly, particularly if you're playing AAA titles like Forza or Halo, as these weigh in around 100 gigabytes each. It's important to know this going in. You definitely have to manage your storage more with the Series S. So if you want to store a larger number of games, then you may as well step up to the Series X, which has 100% more SSD capacity. Whilst you can increase SSD capacity on the Series S, really that's a false economy with current SSD prices. You'd be better off getting the Series X with a larger SSD and also enjoying the extra performance that comes with it. With a faster CPU and GPU and way more RAM, the Series X offers a pretty big step up in terms of gaming performance and graphical fidelity. The Xbox Series X is a true native 4K machine, whereas on the Series S most games hit a resolution of 1440p or lower and are then upscaled to output to your 4K TV. I game on a 65 inch 4K OLED and the difference in visual fidelity between the two consoles has been noticeable. Now I wouldn't say it's a huge difference, but it is definitely noticeable. The high resolution just makes games look crispier and sharper when compared with the Series S. It's also worth noting that some games on the Series X offer higher frame rates and feel a little smoother as a result. But to be clear, the Series S does not look bad by any means. I happily gamed on mine for months. I think many people would only really notice the difference if the consoles were running side by side, particularly if you're using a smaller TV. Just be aware that the larger your 4K TV, the more apparent the lower resolution games will be. I think if your TV is 65 inches or above, then you'll really appreciate the difference between the two consoles. One other key difference of these two Xbox consoles is the price. The Series S retails at 249 in the UK or 299 in the States, whereas the Series X comes in at 449 in the UK and 499 in the States. So that's a fairly hefty price difference. But remember with the Series X you're getting a significantly more powerful machine with double the SSD storage. On the other hand the Series S still offers superb bang for buck and offers the same great features like quick resume and auto HDR. Availability has been an issue this console generation but the Series S seems to consistently be in stock with the Series X being more difficult to come by. That being said the Series X seems to be in stock a little more recently. I picked mine up direct from Microsoft because you've got to stack those reward points. Overall I've been happy with my upgrade to the Series X. I enjoy the increased performance and graphics on my 65 inch TV and I definitely appreciate the extra storage capacity. Those are the two big reasons that have made it worth it for me. However the Series S still offers incredible value for money 
and will be an excellent choice for a lot of people, particularly those using it on a smaller TV or as a second system. As a digital only console, the Series S also works nicely as a pure Game Pass machine. So to conclude, I'd say the Series X is really for those who want the absolute best performance and have a large high-end 4K TV that can take advantage of it. So if you fit that demographic, I'd highly recommend it. That's a wrap for this video. I hope it helped you out. I've been Tom Hyphen. Like and subscribe for more. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching.